Welcome to Monday's Look North. On the programme tonight, a landmark victory. The disabled rights campaigner from Yorkshire who took on a bus company to court and won in a case which could have implications nationwide. We'll meet him in a moment. Also tonight, honouring a fallen hero. Top story tonight, a disabled man from West Yorkshire who said he was being discriminated against by his local bus company has won a landmark court case which could have implications for transport providers across the UK. Doug Pawley's been awarded £5,000 after he challenged the first bus group's policy on wheelchair users. Charlotte Leeming has this exclusive report. Catching the bus is something most of us take for granted, but for Doug Pawley, it's something of a lottery. Getting on the bus itself isn't the problem. It's a fact that all too often the wheelchair space isn't free, and an incident last February proved to be the final straw. Somebody with a pushchair in the wheelchair space refused to move when asked by the driver because their baby was asleep in the pushchair and they didn't want to wake the baby up. So I was unable to get on the bus. I was told to get off the bus and wait for the next one. Doug took the company concern, the first bus group, to court. A judge said their first-come, first-served policy for the disabled bay was unlawful discrimination and in breach of the Equality Act of 2010. Having approached them directly in various other ways, this seemed the only way to force them to take the issue seriously and to make adjustments so that wheelchair users can reliably take the bus. Disabled spaces on buses can often be taken up by children's buggies and current policy means the parents don't have to make way for wheelchair users, but that will now have to change. In a statement first told us, we recognise how important it is bus services are accessible to all and our drivers are trained to act in accordance with the law in this area. We're disappointed in last week's judgment and will take time to consider the findings. This case has wide-reaching implications, not just for the first bus group, but also for other train and bus companies across the UK operating a similar first-come, first-served practice. This is a breakthrough, and we know it's the number one issue for every wheelchair user on public transport. You know, there's no point in having an accessible bus if the service itself is inaccessible. Uh, and there are over a million wheelchair users in the UK. The first bus group now has six months to enforce the priority for disabled passengers. So Doug will be hoping his days left stranded on the curbside are over. Charlotte Leeming, BBC Look North, Leeds.